Hello guys, welcome to Survive Russia. It's an awesome Sunday today, even though it's overcast and it's not too warm and almost no insects. It's autumn. It's the, I think it's the second, yeah, second of September today. So, uh, yeah, the video here is going to be about the little firefly, the little micro ferro rod, the survival ferro rod, because uh, it seemed like quite a few of you guys wanted to get one. And uh, ever since I got this little guy, I have used it almost every day. I've used it a lot. So this is just going to be a short video with a few tips on how to use it and uh, what my opinion on it is so far. I had a few guys commenting that uh, this is not good, it's too small to be used, it's too small for cold hands and all sorts of stuff. But uh, sometimes when I see comments I of course also know or have a good feeling or indicator anyway on, uh, on uh, the comments if they are, you can say, uh, if they are based in real life or they're just based on the internet or forums and YouTube videos and so on. And as I said, I used it every day, almost every day since I got it. I started the fire twice when I made the cooking video that I most likely will link to up here. So most often when uh, I fail to light a fire, it is uh, due to lack of preparation. I didn't use the, the last 30 seconds or one minute to get the right amount of uh, of sawdust or I didn't scrape the, the birch bark properly and then it doesn't light up, right? So uh, you can say working with such a little uh, ferro rod here, of course, the preparation is uh, become even more important. However, I broke mine. I'll show you on a close up here, but you can see there's still a lot left. So here we have the firefly. But I broke off this little bit here. Yeah, my hands are completely dirty because it is a Big battle to start the fire over there. Anyway, you can see we have a lot of ferro rod left, and even there should only be like a one, two centimeters left. It will still be usable. It will still sit in the in the little in the little slot here. What happened with the little ferro rod here is, of course, that uh, I start to dig out out in the end. I start to dig it out, so, so to speak. So it was uh, thin in the in this part here, then it was fat again. You know what I mean with, with ferro rods. It, it can be a little bit uh, problematic sometimes. So a technique I have developed is to put the finger on the little ferro rod here, hold out here on the on the saw blade. We are using a striker. But you can see it's. Uh, it's not a weak ferro rod. Ah, then we got it going. We can try with the birch bark here again. But since the ferro rod is so small and the shower of sparks are, of course, not as big as if you're using a a king size ferro rod, then it's of course very important to to prepare the target and the target is of course our fluffed off birch bark or or the the sawdust there. I use the, the saw to, to fabricate the sawdust with of course. And this sawdust I've actually been laying on this table here for a good 45 minutes or something like this. So it has most likely absorbed a lot of uh, of moisture. And it was not the driest to begin with because uh, it's very so humid in the forest, it's not soft. It's humid. Let's see if we can get this little guy here going. I use the tip of the of the saw, I said, because it's more controllable. Boom, up it goes in flame. Awesome. So there's of course nothing wrong with these little fireflies. They're super awesome. I mean, they, they would be really, really handy. Also in minus 30, if we're standing in the forest or if I'm standing in the forest or whatever, and uh, this is what I have, then I 
I will be really happy that I should not go through the process of uh, making a boat wheel. It takes a long time and that is uh, actually not really great with uh, cold hands. But it can be done, I've shown that many times. So basically this video here is just to fill you in on what I have learned about the little uh, firefly here. Because uh, if you have bought it and uh, you are a viewer, subscriber, both maybe, then uh, I'm most likely responsible for you buying this. So uh, yeah, now you know a little bit more about how to use it. It's of course not an everyday use, but, but uh, it can be used now and then. And uh, it can certainly be used in a survival situation. So guys, please check the links in the description. Sub share, subscribe, sub bell, sub like, and consider to support the channel. That is really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, get on the train, get it done, do something awesome. See you in the next video, guys.